talking the original about form houses colors or uh, something mean similar different to things. that age. The, now, uh, second house in on the right color down patterns. this road here. That house was built in 1885, so check out the really classic color scheme and the carv carving that's done on the roof there. Now this uh, house Red is stairs the meant here. that you could, recently read that the houses the were open to stay for free so night stays really for visitors the and blue stairs meant the that they had daughters of marrying a dude that they use today. Come on guys, step up. Good. This is the bit of second beer here. Taking off now. <laughs> <laughs> well, beer. The Bent Mass Pub is a excellent choice. Also, if you are want want to do some ghost hunting, I hear the Bent Mass Pub is quite haunted. So uh, really interesting modern art. So over here on the left hand side, this bench is uh, waiting to be painted for a nice sunny day. So maybe that'll happen today, but it is Saturday, so you know. Over here on the right hand side, it took me a while to figure this out, but this is actually a statue of a girl about to run into a tree. <laughs> yeah, so she's got a coffee in her hand, old school cell phone there, so she can't be taxiing because it probably wouldn't work. So she's going to run right into that. Now, I was riding my bicycle to work the other day, I was trying to open my burrito, so I used my elbows, and I was like, oh my god, I'm that girl. And I'm trying to a car. So maybe one of these days I will emanate her climax of events and run into a tree for her. <laughs> Alright guys, these big sequoia trees here, guess what? We totally stole them from California. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> they, they seem happy. Um, now the cherry blossom trees that line the street here, we actually were a gift from Japan when Victoria was founded in 1843, so no one can blame us for having these awesome trees here. Now behind the coffee house here on the right hand side, that is um, one of the oldest churches on the island there. So that church was built in the early 1800s before they started painting churches white in this area. And all of the, what's that? Oh, uh, I'll talk about gas prices, chill out. <laughs> now all the stained glass windows were brought over here from Europe on the big steamships and they used to sink them into the big vats of molasses they were bringing over here so they wouldn't break on the voyage. Totally worked, but when they started selling the molasses off like normal, guess what? People started showing up with lead poisoning. Whoops, right? Now guys, our gas prices are per liter, so that comes out to around $4 a gallon. So it is pretty expensive everywhere. Everyone should get a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Now over here on the right hand side in this parking lot, that is one of four garden plots that exist in James Bay. So if you move to the garden capital of Canada and you accidentally bought a condo, well don't panic, you can rent a little garden plot in there and garden all year long. Isn't that a fantastic idea? Yes, it is. Totally agree, guys. <laughs> Um, so we are the Garden Capital of Canada. We're quite a few capitals, so I'm going to list them for you, okay? So we're the Garden Capital, we're the Retirement Capital, and I'm going to let you connect those two dots all on your own. <laughs> we are the Restaurant Capital, the Newlywood Capital, the Bicycle Capital, and the Psychic Capital of Canada. You know, huh? Now there is a rhyme, it leaves two of them out, but it goes, we are home of the flower beds, the newlyweds, the overfeds, and the nearly deads. <laughs> Alright, so coming up here on the left hand side, soon, anyhow now, there it is, um, the James Bay Tea Room and Restaurant here on the left, step up ladies, step up, um, is over a hundred years old, originally it was a single family home, but when they re once they realized they'd be on a corner like that, well that was considered bad luck, so they moved out.